So that tape a little bit. Uh, this is uh, what I'm showing you is the Greenbrier River uh, where it gets ready to come into the new river at uh, Hinton, below the dam at Bluestone Dam. It's starting to look pretty good. <clears throat> Water's got a good color to it. It's the 21st, I think, or 2nd of, uh, of February uh, 2024. Won't be long. Uh, some people's already starting to fish. Won't be long to the uh, water will be down a little bit more. Uh, still, you got some of the winter uh, runoff uh, from all this snow and rain stuff we had. Water the greenish looking uh, color right now, but it's clearing up pretty good. Still up pretty good. Uh, not only in the Greenbrier River, but also in the new. So I thought I'd show you how wide it is, the Greenbrier River right here, where it comes into the new river here at uh, Hint. Uh, I'd say that's probably at least, uh, at least a uh, more, little more than a quarter of a mile across, just uh, in width right here, uh, which it narrows off the further upstream you get toward all the certain places. You know. So anyhow, I thought I'd make this short video. Hope you like it. It'll be long to be fishing time. I thought I'd also tape this today. It's the uh, 22nd, I think, of, uh, of uh, February 2024. This is a little picnic area uh, that they've got fixed here at, uh, at Hinton for the New River uh, comes out of the Bluestone Dam. And uh, the Greenbrier River flows from over in that direction from up toward Alders and come down and they meet right here. Anyhow, it's about probably a quarter of a mile or so across on the New River side. Maybe a little bit farther than that. I don't know if you can see the dam from here. I guess you can. Walk down here where I can uh, put a video up that way. The deer poops right here too, you see. Here in the Polish Bank, see the spillway of the dam up there, Bluestone Dam. They've been working on that some uh, the last few years, I think, trying to open up more uh, more spillway, I think, up there. I see on the internet where some people are starting to catch some uh, some muskie and stuff uh, down on the new here and there. And uh, as a fisherman down here now, I've been getting ready to go fishing or been fishing or put his waders and stuff on. Uh, you can catch uh, smallmouth bass, blue cats, uh, uh, channel catfish, flathead catfish, uh, what they call mud cats, musky, pike, uh, some of these tributaries you can catch trout out of. It's just uh, all kinds of rock bass. And, Small mouth, large mouth bass, just about anything you can think of that you like to catch, suckers or anything, you know. If you, carp, if you're in the fishing for carp. But anyway, it's a good place. There's a ramp right over here. You can get right down below the dam here, just uh, like a boat launch for shallow running boats right here. Uh, I wouldn't put a uh, aluminum boat, I mean not aluminum, but a fiberglass boat in down through here. If I was going to fish down in here, this area, I'd use a uh, aluminum boat or a rubber raft or something or a kayak because it gets too slip. It's pretty good fishing from here down to Sandstone Falls. It's not too awful bad. But after you get past Sandstone Falls, you've got rapids and stuff that goes through and uh, it's dangerous. Uh, to fish unless you're in a tube, a float tube or something, and it's still dangerous. So you wear a life jacket and all that type of stuff. We've got quite a bit of fishing that goes on here in the summer months and spring through fall. And uh, anyhow, they got some nice uh, uh, smallmouth bass comes out of this river from time to time. I see where somebody's caught some pretty good ones uh, so far this year and a few muskets. So anyhow. I hope you like this uh, video that I made. Uh, this is one thing I want to show. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm standing uh, on Route 20, I think, uh, here at, uh, at Hinton on a bypass. 
there is a house, a, a cabin right over there, built on an island that sits directly in between New River and the Greenbrier River, and there's no road into it. You have to go out and go down where I was last taping that on the last video. Uh, go uh, down at uh, uh, the boat launch over to uh, the bridge there at, uh, right below the Bluestone Dam, and you have to go through the creek there where Greenbrier run, River runs down, and there's a little, little like uh, uh, path-like dirt road goes there. It comes through that area right over there in the summer months when the water's low. Some people goes over there and camps and fishes and drip down on boats and stuff like that. On the other side of that, on the other side of where that uh, log cabin is, that's the Greenbrier River. You can see part of it over there. I hope, I hope I'm holding it up high enough where you can see. That's the Greenbrier River over there, the New River on this side. And uh, I don't know what kind of shape that building is on the inside, but even in the winter months when the water's up and all this run off and the hard rains in the spring, water gets up to within probably, I'd say, eight or ten feet of that building. Eight or ten feet of the foundation of it there. So it, uh, it don't get all the way up to it. I've never seen it to do that. They may have in the past. I don't know. I don't know who owns it. But I think it's about 15 acres or so of property in there. It's, it's private, privately owned. You know, if it's by some kind of a, a outdoorsman's club or what it is. I think it's something I thought I'd mention. The water's getting pretty uh, coming out of uh, the new river here. I see some people have been catching some, uh, some muskie down the river from here. So anyhow, I thought I'd throw that in there. All right.